Hi, this is Richard Gain from Microcubology and I just want to make a short video to show you how I clean up the pieces when I've received them directly from Shapeways. Uh, it's a little bit of work that you need to do just to make sure that the puzzles will operate smoothly. I've got one of the pieces of the happiness cube here, happiness number 20. And uh, what you can see here is that the corners have become a little bit filled in by the powder that's used to make the, uh, the puzzle pieces. And I'm just using very gently the tip of a small screwdriver to break away this residual powder. You can see how it's accumulated in the, in the corners which really need to be quite sharp because on, uh, on this type of puzzle there really isn't any space inside the cube. Once you've got all the pieces together and anything like this that gets left behind from the printing process is going to jam the puzzle up. So there's, there's really two stages to this. One is to uh, make sure that you loosen up and remove any powder that you can find left in any of the corners. Uh, it comes away quite easily. It's, it's very clear when you're uh, scraping powder and, and when you've reached the surface of the puzzle and obviously then you need to stop and uh, as well as using the screwdriver I use a, a small brush from a, an electric shaver just to keep the puzzle clean get the dust away. The second stage is to put all of the pieces together in the right configuration and slide them backwards and forwards quite vigorously um, past each other about 20 times and uh, what that will do is, is remove any rough edges from the surfaces so, to, so that you, you end up with two much cleaner surfaces sliding past each other and that's when the puzzle will really start to move very smoothly what you'll probably find is the first time you put it together uh, it, uh, it can get the movement is quite stiff and it can even get a bit, a bit stuck but um, that's because the tolerances in the printing process have been very carefully designed so that once this powder has all been moved away and the surfaces of the puzzle pieces have um, got back to their normal state the puzzle will be exactly the right size so that it doesn't uh, fall apart too easily but doesn't get jammed either. So uh, I hope that you can manage to do this yourself. You'll find that uh, once you've got each of the pieces cleaned up in this way uh, the puzzle will be much easier to put together. A little bit of movement to free it all up should uh, give you a lo lovely puzzle to have a lot of fun trying to put together and, uh, and solve. Hope that's been helpful and uh, I'll speak to you again later when I've got this puzzle working and, and uh, make a short video showing you how it works.